Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We are here with week three of the craft kit collaboration over on the Facebook page, Crafty Manipulators. This week is shaker tags. So this is my first shaker that I made. I'm pretty sure this is my first one. Um, I'm not really big into shakers. I love receiving them, but they're a lot of work. So um, I'm not a huge shaker person, so this was a little challenge for me, um, but I think mine turned out super cute. Um, so what you have to do is have um, any type of shaker. Uh, it has to include shaker bits and some embellishments, two from on the back, and a sentiment for each tag. So this is what I came up with. I made a Polaroid shaker. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love it. So, you know, the pieces you can put on there however you want. I added some stationary stars on the outside and on the Let It Snow. Um, so here's my kit. Here's my two from on the back with the white so that we can write a little message. Um, I just glued my hanging tag um, on the back. I still thought it looked cute. You could put it in between the layers. But like I said, I'm not really um, a shaker person, so I wasn't sure if it would ruin, you know, the um the seal and then i have shaker bits coming out everywhere so i just glued it to the back i think it looks fine you could always put another sticker on top of it if you wanted to but i didn't find the neat so that's how my tag is so my pieces all right so i have the frames and the bases in this back here now i did triple up on the frames and i doubled up on the bases just so that way it's nice and sturdy um, this copper paper is um, a thicker paper, but I wanted it to be really, really thick and really sturdy. Um, I went ahead and added the, the large foam tape for the bottom part, only because, you know, some people may not have that thick um, one inch foam, and I didn't want them to have to use a lot of strips of foam tape uh, because I had to provide the foam tape as well. So I already did that part for them. So there are the frames and the backs in that bag and then I have the acetate and the inside piece in another bag which is here so the acetate I'm not going to take out I did leave the tissue paper on the acetate so that way they can see the four pieces and then um, I just used a 3d embossing folder a Sizzix one to make this background um, I thought it was really cute and so I I you know ran it through the big shot a couple times I did give double the amount maybe I should put a note in there but there's extra amount of these just in case you know they want to make a matching card or you know they messed up the placement or whatever I just made matching you know extra um, embossing folder pieces and then we have our snowflakes and our snowmen which here are the snowflakes. I just used a snowflake punch. I punched out two snowflakes and I layered them with a pop dot, which I already put them together for my partner. And then my snowman, that is a stamp set. It's a Stampin' Up! stamp set. This one right here. I just cut this guy out and I put glitter gel on him and colored his little um, buttons and gold. And his little nose, I already colored it. So he's in there. And then I do have the, um, oh, sorry, my paper towel fell in there. I used the Let It Snow um, here. And I stamped it with um, Stays On. And I put glitter gel on it. And then I mounted it on a gold piece. Um, so that's how I did mine. Now, the possibilities are endless as to where you want to put your you know, your tat, your sentiment, and then your little snowflake. You can, you know, put it any which way. This was my favorite way of putting it, but you know, you may want him in the middle and that in the middle or this on the side and that over there. You know, you could have it wherever you want. And then in this bag, I have my ribbon and the foam strips. So the foam strips will go around here, here, and here, because this already has the, you know, the big foam strip. So you just need a few of those. So I put those foam strips in there so they can do that. 
and then my um oh there they are bag of sequins i just put a whole bunch in there you don't really need that much in these even though they're really big but um you know some people may want to have a lot and some people may just want to have a little and then i also did a jar of stars in case they want to do like i did and put the little stars on the outside with the glue dot just to give it a little extra eye appeal um the sequins mix i think it was a, it was gifted to me the stars came from target um yeah so that is my swap i'm going to package it all up inside of a cute little bag and i'm going to have a rosette topper to hold it closed i think either that or i'm going to make a box i haven't decided yet <laughs> This is also the Stampin' Up! punch that coordinates with the um, snowman season. And then the little hat and the um, pieces are Stampin' Up! as well. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this kit. Definitely check out the other ladies in this collaboration. And thanks for watching. Bye!